My name is Dr. Peggy Murphy, and on behalf of Student Affairs and also LSU Health Shreveport School of Medicine, I'd like to welcome you to the annual awards convocation. So thank you for being here. Today we're going to celebrate these recipients and all their hard work and the legacy that they will leave on LSU Health Shreveport. So before we get started, I'd like for you to hear from Dr. Lewis. Um, he is the Acting Chancellor and Dean of the School of Medicine. Dr. Lewis. What a great couple of days this will be. Um, you know, uh, over the last year, COVID and uh, a year ago, we tried to do this virtual thing for graduation, which uh, I don't think it worked out that well, <laughs> Dr. Chandler. <laughs> but uh, we're going to do the real thing tomorrow. And, uh, this is really, really, really a special time for all of us. We can uh, recognize some outstanding students who are going to go forth and carry the torch for this institution as people have been doing for a number of years. So I want to welcome each and every one of you and uh, congratulate some winners out there. And uh, let's, let's let this thing get started. Thank you. So after receiving your award for the recipients, if you will come up to the screen and have your photo taken. So the first set of awards we're going to present this morning, or this afternoon, are Student Affairs Awards. Our first award will be presented by Dr. Debbie Chandler, who is Associate Dean for Diversity and Student Affairs. This is the Lewis Gottlieb Scholar Award. Then Dr. Lewis will come back and present the Faculty Award for Academic Achievement and the Chancellor's Award. Dr. Chandler. Good afternoon. So the Lewis Gottlieb Scholar Award was established in 1973 to honor Dr. Edgar Paul, the first dean of the Louisiana State Medical School in Shreveport. The purpose of this award is to honor a senior medical student with the qualities of leadership, respect for teaching and excellence in patient care, which are exemplified in the career and life of Dr. Hall. This, this year's recipient is Claire Stowers. I personally witnessed Claire Stowers' complete devotion for teaching when I joined the Office of Student Affairs in June 2019. Claire has helped tremendously in establishing the Prep for Step 1, a program dedicated to help the second year medical student on being successful on their Step 1 exam. Furthermore, Claire has shown leadership in the medical school by holding various positions. She has volunteered through numerous organizations and is a current member of the Gold Humanism Honor Society. It is with pleasure and honor that I present this plaque and the Lewis Gottlieb Scholar Award to Claire. And now Dr. Lewis, the Faculty Award for Academic Achievement and the Chancellor's Award. So the first award uh, that I'm going to present uh, today is the Faculty Achievement for Academic uh, uh, Achievement. Uh, this award was created back in 1979 uh, and goes to the student with the highest percentage uh, cumulative average. Uh, and this particular individual had a pretty high rate, 95.711. It's pretty dog high. Uh, so, uh, this year's recipient is James Ferrer. Yeah. Uh, James has uh, shown a lot of leadership abilities. Uh, he started the Plastic Surgery Interest Group. I'm taking it, that's what you're going to be, doctor? So, yeah. <laughs> Gonna get there. There's been some drama. Uh, but, uh, He's also volunteered in a number of different areas, and I want to congratulate you. I think there's a there's a plaque, and there may be a thousand dollars in there somewhere. So you know.
Um, the next uh, award is the Chancellor's Award. Uh, this one was established back in 1977, and this particular individual has to have high academic standing and show a lot of leadership abilities. And uh, this goes to Lenny Majalis. Dr. Majalis uh, had her undergraduate degree at Texas A&M where she uh, majored in, in biology and had a minor in computer science. And uh, she uh, has published a number of papers and been very, very, very active uh, in leadership roles here at this institution. And I believe that there is a plaque and also you get a thousand dollars. Wow. <laughs> Next award will be presented by Dr. Tony Tebow. It's the Senior Award for Outstanding Minority Student, Dr. Tebow. Good afternoon. Excitement. Good afternoon. Awesome. Awesome. So this award was established last year um, under the direction of Dr. Chandler. Uh, and we are to recognize a underrepresented minority student uh, for their leadership and community efforts here in the Shreveport Bossier area. This year, the $1,000 award goes to Alexandra Britton. So, Alex attended Shipyard College of Louisiana and graduated magna cum laude. She received a Bachelor's of Science degree biology and neuroscience from the institution. While a medical student here at LSU Health Shreveport, Alex's professional affiliations are the Emergency Medicine Residents Association, Latino Medical Student Association, and American Medical Association. And in 2020, I apologize, she was recognized as the Arnold P. Gold Foundation Student of the Month. Alex maintained positions of service and leadership throughout her medical school career and she will be commended for her roles in the community. For example, Alex is the founder and coordinator for the Medical Students Tutoring Program, uh, which is located at Southwood High School. Her leadership and participation in the program helped to assist high school students to meet and exceed science and math benchmarks established by the Louisiana Department of Education. She matched at Indiana University in Emergency Medicine and Pediatrics. Job well done, Alex. Job well done. Now we will move to our departmental awards. I will call on Dr. Tom Arnold, Chair of Emergency Medicine. Dr. Arnold will be giving the Department of Emergency Medicine Faculty Award and the Society of Academic Emergency Medicine Excellence in Emergency Medicine Award. It's always my privilege to start off the Department of Awards. Uh, I'll, for sake of time, state that both of these awards come with a uh, certificate suitable for framing uh, and, more importantly, a check for $1,000 that was donated by the faculty each of these uh, awards. Our, our first award is the faculty award for the student that most exemplifies empathy and compassion in patient care and going into emergency medicine. This award recipient is, is not here today because she is coming back from her honeymoon, uh, and, but she will be one of our interns in emergency medicine starting uh, in July. And the award winner for the faculty award is Lauren Tolano. The second one is the Academic Award. It's given by the Society of Academic Emergency Medicine along with a, a membership for a year in the journal uh, and another certificate at $1,000 as well. And this is for the person with the highest academic achievement, not just in emergency medicine, but in general going into the EM. And this person we are losing to South Louisiana, which is going to be close to her family, Elizabeth Person.
Okay, the next uh, department will be Family Medicine. Dr. Peter Seidenberg is the chair. Department of Family Medicine, Arthur T. Ford the third MD Chairman's Award, and also the Michael O. Fleming MD Family Practice Award. Additionally, Dr. Judy Blaylock will be presenting the John Haynes Country Doctor Award. Dr. Seidenberg and Dr. Blaylock. Good afternoon. The Department of Family Medicine, Arthur T. Ford III Award, Chairman's Award, is presented to the senior medical student who has been outstanding in the field of family medicine and whose interests coincide with the highest ideals of the specialty. The recipient is selected by the full-time faculty of the Department of Family Medicine based upon the following criteria. A senior pursuing a career in family medicine who has shown leadership in family medicine activities and has demonstrated superior scholastic achievement in medical school and particularly in the field of family medicine. We are pleased to present the 2021 Department of Family Medicine Arthur T. Fort III MD Award, Chairman's Award to Eleanor Cook. There's also a check with that one. <laughs> Dr. Cook will continue her training at the Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston, South Carolina. This next award is given by the Louisiana Academy of Family Physicians. It is the Michael Fleming MD Family Medicine Award. Michael Fleming was in the 1975 senior class, which was the third class to graduate from this medical school. He then was a part of the first family medicine residency program in North Louisiana, the Shreveport Residency Program, and finished that in 1978. He started a solo practice in Shreveport that became the Family Doctors. Today, that practice has 11 family physicians, all with ties to this medical school. In 1987, he became president of the LAFP, the Louisiana Academy of Family Physicians. And in 1996, he was named Louisiana Family Doctor of the Year. In 2003, Dr. Fleming was elected to the president of the AAFP, the American Academy of Family Physicians, as the 56th president of this 95,000 member organization. In, two, in uh, the 2019 Michael Fleming MD Family Medicine Award goes to a student selected by the faculty of the Department of Family Medicine that has best exemplified the characteristics of family medicine with comprehensive care and caring. The award consists of a plaque and a check. And this year's recipient is Olivia Bradbury. Dr. Bradbury will continue her training at the Baton Rouge General Medical Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Congratulations. Full disclosure, I'm a farm daddy, not an MD. But uh, I was with Dr. John Haynes for nine years, helping him train the rural family practice of residence. It was absolutely the best nine years of my practice, 50 years to be there every day and just soak up his knowledge. He kind of trained me along with him. I had nine years of residence and trained him with him is what it boils down to. Instead of just the three years, the two years the guys had. Uh, a group of us, past residents and myself, got together. We wanted to present an award to honor Dr. Haynes because he's made such a contribution to so many young people. And so our award recipient this year is Mary Claire Corrent. There's also a check for the other thousand dollars. The 
The next departmental award will be Internal Medicine, and Dr. Jonathan Eaton will be presenting the Department of Medicine Award for Outstanding Performance and the ACP Award for Excellence in Medicine. Dr. Eaton. Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. Um, on behalf of Dr. Bailey and the entire faculty of the Department of Medicine, I've got two awards that we're presenting today. The first is the Department of Medicine Award for Outstanding Performance, uh, and the second is the ACP Award. Both of these are given to people who uh, had outstanding performance during their medicine rotation. Um, the Department of Medicine Award is sponsored by the Department of Medicine, um, and that award this year goes to Grant Peterson. in medicine. Um, this is funded by the ACP itself um, in recognition of academic excellence in the medicine clerkship and this year that award goes to Michael Billett. Thank you very much. The next departmental award is neurosurgery and Dr. Christina Notariano be presenting the Donald R. Smith Award for Excellence in Neurosurgery. Dr. Materiani. Thank you. Um, the Donald R. Smith Award is given by our department to a graduating medical student who embodies the outstanding commitment to the field of neurosurgery throughout his or her medical education. Dr. Smith is our senior partner. He joined the medical staff in 1977 and established the first neurosurgical service here at LSU. During this time, he continued to work in private practice here in Shreveport until he joined the faculty department full-time in 1996. He has been practicing neurosurgery now for over 50 years, and he really shows no signs of slowing down. He, he exhibits selfless dedication to the field of neurosurgery in both patient care and education to students and residents. Beyond his research, he exhibits patience and kindness to everyone around him. He is a master of surgical techniques and continues to embrace the advancing technology in our expanding field. When you ask our residents about Dr. Smith, they consider him a role model and an invaluable teacher. For these reasons, we wanted to honor both him and a medical student who embodies this type of outstanding commitment to our field. And that person this year is Audrey Demand. <laughs> certificate here is a small check, um, but I would like to talk a little bit about Audrey. She, um, she began her interest in neurosurgery when she was in graduate school, and she started the ground running when she came to our department and started medical school. She's worked with us almost every day since. Um, she has been just a dedicated to our field, and we are so excited that she is going into neurosurgery. And I would say um, I'm the first recipient of this award, and I'm the first woman to get this award. And you are now the second woman to graduate from this medical school and to go to neurosurgery. So, congratulations. Our next award will be given by Dr. Mila Shaw Bruce, Obstetrics and Gynecology. This is the A.G. Thompson M.D. Memorial Award for Excellence in Obstetrics and Gynecology. Dr. Chalmers. Okay, and um, this is the A.G. Thompson Memorial Award for Excellence in Obstetrics and Gynecology. This is an award was established in 1990 to honor Dr. Horace Thompson. Dr. Thompson began his career at the University of Colorado, where he was pioneer, where he pioneered the use of ultrasound in pregnancy. He served as faculty at the University of Colorado for 20 years until he left to become chairman here at the Department, the Department of Imagery here at LSU Health Sciences Center. The, during a tenure here as department chair, he served as a mentor to several younger faculty, residents, and students. He held various society positions, including the 
president of the American Institute of Emotional Medicine. So to honor him and the students, the recipient of this award has exhibited excellence in the area of obstetrics and gynecology and has been described by faculty and residents as hardworking, dependable, enthusiastic, a joy to work with, and I'm happy to say she'll be joining us next year here. So the winner of this year's award is Christina Campino. We now call on Dr. Shane Barton, Chair of Orthopedic Surgery, to give the Orthopedic Surgery Outstanding Student Award. Dr. Barton. All right, everyone, welcome. So uh, I was told I've only had two minutes. I'll try to no, just it. It's going to be quick. This is our faculty award. Our faculty have given this award for many years to a fourth year medical student who's graduating and has decided to pursue the field of orthopedic surgery. The things we look for are caring and Passion uh, and musculoskeletal care. So much of the care that we give here, as in every one of our departments, that goes to people who are uh, struggling, often underinsured or uninsured. And uh, we like someone that really shows compassion for our students. Excellence in research, early involvement absolutely helps. We have many students that start off very early but then kind of fade out or decide to do something uh, else. And so we really uh, are happy when someone shows dedication for. It is very successful in what they do. Our faculty give this plaque as well as a, a, a check for $500 uh, for this award. And this year's recipient of our Faculty with Pete Surgery Outstanding Student Award is James Robinson. <laughs> this year we decided to go ahead and throw in a spot for a residency as well. So he's here with us uh, this year. We're very excited. Just real quickly, James graduated from Mississippi, University of Mississippi, with a degree in engineering and has been involved in so many things, like so many of you. And I congratulate all of you. The GOAT Humanism Honor Society, Alpha Omega Alpha Honor Medical Society. Uh, you know, he's been very involved in the, uh, not only your organizations here, but really has produced some excellent research for us in our department. We're very proud of him, and so congratulations to James. Now call on Dr. Langford to give the Ophthalmology Award, Excellence in Ophthalmology Award, John W. Henderson. Good afternoon. Before I make uh, an announcement of this year's recipient of the John W. Henderson Excellence in Ophthalmology Award as a recognition for being an outstanding senior medical student uh, during your rotation in ophthalmology, let me tell you a little bit about John Henderson. After serving in the military, the Army Medical Corps, he came from the Mayo Clinic, uh, the University of Minnesota, graduate school there to take a position as our chair in the Department of Ophthalmology at our VA Medical Center. He served there until 1988. He was uh, obviously very well known because he had numerous publications, over a hundred of them, and had written uh, over total tumors, which there have been three editions of. Uh, he and his wife uh, were surrogate grandparents to the residents at that time, and this award was created by them to honor him. Uh, so it is uh, fitting, I think, for this convocation as well to provide another opportunity to honor them. So, uh, on behalf of uh, our chair, Dr. William Byrd, and the whole Department of Ophthalmology faculty, uh, we recognize this year's outstanding senior medical student, uh, her personal, as well as her many philanthropic achievements, uh, have placed her in this position, as we always try to honor those students who have come through the ophthalmology and have simplified high 
high standards as far as patient care as well as her academic acumen. Um, to name a few of her accomplishments, she's a recipient of the coveted LSU HSC Institutional Scholarship. She has served as a representative on the Honor Council. Uh, she has participated in volunteers, uh, counselor in Camp Tiger, uh, Hope Ball, as you all know about. She's really been instrumental in a lot of that. She was awarded the Reginald E. and Ruby Harper Slaughter uh, Scholarship for Academic Excellence. She was elected, elected at AOA. She has been an active researcher in our LSU medical student research program in my laboratory. So it is with a great deal of pleasure and truly an honor to announce the selection of Laura Paralu as the 2021 Outstanding Senior Student Recipient of the John W. Henderson Excellence in I know that she's not here, she's honeymoon. So, is there anyone who can see for her? No. Okay. You can do it, all right. That's her very, that's her very good friend. Thank you very much. Next award is Otolaryngology. It's the Cheryl Clark Lyles Outstanding Student Award in Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery Research. The recipient was at, unable to be here today. Um, this award is given to a medical student who is pursuing a career in otolaryngology. The recipient is Manon Doucette. I call on now Dr. Maroon Ahana, Pediatrics Chair. He will be awarding the Dr. Amy Ashford Yates Memorial Award in Pediatrics, Ralph W. Balcom Jr., MD, and Robert T. Lucas Award. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's my pleasure to present three awards. Um, the first one is the Amy Ashford Yates Memorial Award. A uh, few words about Amy. Amy was a graduate of the class of 2005, who, in spite of her diagnosis of an aggressive brain tumor early in the senior year, fulfilled her dream of walking across the stage at graduation to receive her medical degree with her classmates. Sadly, she died before she was able to begin her residency in pediatrics. Amy was truly a remarkable individual who touched the lives of all who knew her. To honor her memory, her family and her friends established this award to recognize a senior student who has chosen the field of pediatrics who exhibits Amy's remarkable characteristics. This award is given to the senior student who, in the opinion of the pediatric faculty, demonstrates compassion and dedication to the care of pediatric patients and a strong commitment to community service and a missionary work that benefits the lives of children. The award consists of a plaque and a check for $500. In addition, the name of the awardee is placed on a plaque permanently displayed in the Department of Pediatrics. The recipient of this year's Amy Ashford Gates Memorial Award in Pediatrics is Allison Rogers. <laughs> Second award is the Ralph Buckham Jr. MD Award that consists of a plaque and a check of $2,000. Dr. Buckham, a pediatric radiologist, was one of the original members of the faculty of our Health Science Center. He was an, a, an unable clinician, an excellent teacher, and an enthusiastic advocate for students and residents. 
For many years, he served as a chair of the admissions committee. Dr. Brockham took an active and personal interest in helping students and residents achieve their goals. He always reminded students of the importance of the commitment to your profession and the need to balance work and family for a successful career. Dr. Bauckham's family established this award in his honor. Dr. Bauckham participated in the development of the criteria of the criteria for the selection of the recipient. The award is usually given by Dr. Bauckham's son, Ralph Bauckham III, who is a graduate of this medical school and an adult cardiologist participating in Shri of practice in Shri He's unable to attend today, so I have the honor of presenting this award for the Bakken family. The Bakken Award is given annually to the fourth year medical student chosen primarily on the basis of merit, as reflected by grades, performance on pediatric rotations, involvement in clinical or basic research, participa participation in volunteer activities, and any other measures of academic or clinical skills, and or leadership roles deemed appropriate by the faculty of the Department of Pediatrics. And this year's Welcome Award recipient is Megan, Black, uh, Megan Smith. This is the check. And that is the So now this is the third award, the Robert T. Lucas Award that consists of a plaque and a check of $1,000 from the department. The award honors Dr. Lucas, a pediatrician who practiced over 50 years in the Shreveport area. Dr. Lucas was a leader in improving care for children locally and throughout the state. He served as a teaching physician on the medical staff at LSU Medical School here in Shreveport. The Lucas Award is sponsored by the Northwest Louisiana Pediatric Society and is given to the senior student who, in the opinion of the faculty of the Department of Pediatrics, has shown the most interest, enthusiasm, and appreciation of the specialty of pediatrics. The recipient of this year's Lucas Award is Madeline Davis. Dr. Amy Ashford Yates' family was scheduled to be here. Are you here? Okay. I just wanted to honor your daughter if you were here. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Patterson. He is Chair of Psychiatry and he will be presenting the John W. Bick Jr. MD Award in Psychiatry. The John W. Bick Jr. MD Award in Psychiatry is given by the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Medicine to recognize a promising fourth year medical student who has matched into a psychiatry residency program and who has excelled in psychiatry both clinically and academically. This year's recipient is Dr. Sarah Kaufman. <laughs> several degrees, including a Bachelor of Arts, a Bachelor of Science in Biopsychology, a Master of Science in Pharmacology, and she's about to add a Doctor of Medicine to that list. She has completed several research projects and is a student member of the American Psychiatric Association. Um, she is also person-centered thinking certified and professional assault crisis training certified as a student. 
After graduation, she will be entering here into our psychiatry program. We are very happy to hear her. So this certificate does come with a check as well. <laughs> Dr. Keith White, Chairman of Surgery, as he will present the faculty award to a graduating medical student for excellence in surgery. Dr. White. Thank you. Dr. Lewis, you guys are the best of the best. You're the all stars here. We sure have kept every one of you. It's, uh, I see a lot of familiar faces. The Department of Surgery presents our Excellence in Surgery Award to a deserving senior medical student who's manifested not only the academic achievements of honor in surgery but also exhibited superb clinical skills and was able to integrate these talents into compassionate and effective patient care. The student approached me that uh, wins this award today a couple of years ago for the surgery immersion program. And it wasn't long after that, I knew she was a very special woman and a very special doctor to be. During her medical school, she was elected to AOA and was the vice president for AOA. And as a second year student, was awarded a podium position at the yearly medical student program she made a real impact on our department. I wish I could have kept her here. I was glad to recognize Manna Doucet as the worthy recipient of this Excellence in Surgery Award, along with a check of $1,000. I know Manna's not here for some special reason. I don't know what it is, but I love her. She's a great student, and she'll get this check and this award for me personally. Thank you. Okay, and now we present the Neurology Award. Dr. Raymond Turner will be presenting the award for the Robert K. Womack Memorial Neurology Award. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to do this. Uh, to, to tell you how old I am, I was one of the founding members of this school and also the past chairman of the Department of Neurology. And I was sitting here listening to some of the names that the awards were named after. I knew most of them. <laughs> They were all good friends, but there's one I would like to recognize, Dr. John Haynes. Dr. Haynes was one of the best physicians I ever knew. He was a country doctor, but he was more than a country doctor. He was a very good practitioner. I'd just like to say a word about him. And this afternoon, I'd like to present the Robert K. Wallman Memorial Neurology Award. It's given in honor of Dr. the late Dr. Wallman. Noted clinician and educator in this region who helped establish our residency training program back in 1947 in New Orleans. Dr. Womack went on to serve for many years as director of this residency uh, training program. I had the personal pleasure of operating with Dr. Womack. He was an excellent surgeon, excellent technician, and he trained some very good neurologists. The award is given to the fourth year medical student who accepted excellence during their time of the neurology rotation. The award consists of a plaque and monetary award. We believe that Dr. Womack would have approved of our choice for this 2020-21 academic year award winner. We think she nicely fits the image and ideals of Dr. Womack. She is an outstanding graduate of the class and will begin her urology residency here at the LSU Health Center. Please join me in congratulating this year's winner of the Robert K. Womack Memorial Award, Dr. Haley Pallet. Also, there's a check in here.
this time, we will move to the LSU Health Shreveport Foundation Awards. This to give the John C. McDonald MD Award will be Dr. Keith White. This is a special award for me because Dr. McDonald trained me. While he may not have manifested some of these great qualities he had, he treated me like a gentleman and hopefully he trained me as a good surgeon. It's, that's right. It's a great honor that I'm able to present you the John C. McDonald Award to a very capable student. The LSU Health Science Foundation awarded, uh, established this award in memory of Dr. John C. McDonald, this institution's first independent uh, chancellor. His award is given to a senior medical student who best exemplifies some of the qualities that Dr. McDonald exhibited during his tenure at this institution. These include scholarship, leadership, humanitarianism, his love for research, and his fellow man, not necessarily the residents, but he loved me and I love him. I feel honored to be able to give this year's recipient to May LeBron. May is a leader in the medical school and has volunteered through numerous organizations. He's served as a class representative, community outreach chair for the OBGYN interest group. She's also been involved in the St. Baldrick's Childhood Cancer Research Charity and is currently a member of Goal Humanism Honor Society. May has matched to the pediatrics programs in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, and I'm very happy to present this award to her along with a check for $1,000. presented by Dr. Peter Seidenberg. It's the Drs. Alice and Joe Holubeck, LSU Founder Award. Dr. Seidenberg. This award was established in 2009 as an endowed award by the children of Drs. Alice and Joe Holubeck in order to recognize a senior student who, in addition to exhibiting excellent diagnostic and treatment skills in primary care, also practices to a high degree, both ethically and uh, spiritually as well for his or her patients. This year's recipient is Mary Curette. Mary has maintained positions of service and leadership throughout her medical school career. She has demonstrated her dedication to medicine through various volunteer positions and holds memberships in the AMA, the AAFP, and the LAFP. Mary matched uh, to a family medicine residency at University of Texas Health Science Center in Thailand. Next award, the Dr. and Mrs. Adrian Reed Memorial Award, will be presented by Dr. Timothy Hart. Like Dr. Turner, we, we know a lot of those folks in the Memorial Award. A lot of them are out of college. The Dr. and Mrs. Adrian Reed Award. Established in 1988 and honored Dr. Reed and his wife, who devoted themselves to the students and to this institution. Students and faculty nominate this senior graduating student that best emulates the traits of Dr. Reed, those of a scientist, physician, teacher, and friend. And he was all. This year, the honor goes to Adam Van Den Langer.
Our next award will be presented by Mrs. Lisa Babin. She'll be presenting the Reed Chadwick Memorial Award. It's my pleasure to be with you here today, and I'm going to take a minute of personal privilege for all of you parents who are getting to come to the podium. I want to speak on your behalf. I have a child this age, so as I look in the audience, I see some of you at field day, some in the church choir. So you've come a long way and done a great deal with your lives. As Dr. White said, you are the best of the best to be here in this ceremony today. So congratulations to all of you. It is my honor today to present the Dr. Reed Chadwick Memorial Award on behalf of Reed's family, who at the time of his loss very quickly made the decision to give a sizable amount of money to honor their very beloved son. Reed was a fourth year medical student who passed away just before his graduation. His parents chose to create recognition, recognition and support for students who demonstrate an interest in addressing addiction either research, awareness, or pursuing advanced knowledge in addiction medicine. Reed unfortunately became a statistic of the opioid addiction after unintentionally becoming addicted to prescription drugs when he had his wisdom team removed. He voluntarily completed a stringent addiction program and for the next seven years never relapsed until a fateful day in 2017. I watched as Reed's parents took their immense grief and turned it into something positive by creating this I am pleased to announce the winners of the Dr. Reed Chadwick Memorial Award to Dr. Audrey Mann as our first recipient. Before attending medical school, Audrey received her Master of Science in Medical Sciences from Mississippi College. She served as a president of the Neurosurgery Interest Group and served in other lead roles in the Academic Medicine Club, Student Interest Groups for Neurology and Psychiatry. She is currently a member of the Gold Humanism Honor Society. Her interest in addiction medicine began her first year of medical school while working in the Department of Pharmacology, Toxicology, and Neuroscience Lab. In her two years there, she worked well beyond the required hours and conducted a research project comparing the effects of cocaine and methamphetamine of dopamine in the medical prefrontal cortex. She has been noted to have exceeded all expectations of a traditional medical school. She has a passion for all fields related to neuroscience and has expressed a strong interest in working in the academic sector. Audrey has matched to a neurological surgery program at Methodist Hospital in Houston, Texas. Please join me in congratulating Audrey Demand. is receiving a $3,000 check. This year's second recipient is Anna Claire Rogers, who will receive $7,000. Before attending medical school, Anna received her Bachelor of Science in Biology. She has served as president of the Emergency Medical Medicine Interest Group and vice president of the Pediatric Interest Group. Anna has demonstrated her devotion to her school through holding through holding numerous positions while maintaining a heart for altruism through volunteer work in the community. She serves as the only student member on, member on the Louisiana Addiction Research Center and serves as the committee chair for the Outreach and Education Committee that is tasked with educating and improving communication with rural physicians. She also serves on the board for another nonprofit that serves women who struggle with methamphetamine use. That place is Loving Solutions. She has been instrumental in raising funds to get this program off the ground. Anna has plans to continue her work in addiction medicine while completing her residency in emergency medicine in Orlando, Florida. Please join me in congratulating our second recipient, Anna Claire Rogers. At this time, I will call on Mr. Kevin Flood. He will be presenting the next two awards, the Ascension Delgado Smith Excellence and Don and Ruby Horton Generosity of Spirit Award. Thank you, Dr. Murphy. Um, just a, a few quick comments. I'm uh, president of the LSU Health Foundation, so maybe worth that we're giving out right now. Um, we're, we're created by donations, and, 
gifts from alumni, community members, and grateful patients. Um, but I do just want to quickly just say congratulations to all of our graduates in the room today on behalf of the board of directors from the foundation, but more importantly, from the over 4,000 alumni that are out in the world today that have graduated from this very same school. We have the honor and pleasure of engaging with those alumni through the foundation and through the school. And uh, you're joining a very select group of individuals who are doing a lot of good out there. So good luck in your career. And I will put a plug as you go into your career and become very successful, don't forget about us. So. <laughs> All right, so the first uh, award we're gonna do is the Ascension Delgado Smith Excellence Award, which was established by Mrs. Smith in 2008. Mrs. Smith served for many years on the LSU Health uh, Shreveport Foundation Board of Directors. The combination of her lifelong devotion to education, coupled with her appreciation and efforts to strengthen the LSU Health Shreveport is what motivated her to create this award. It is given to a senior medical student that ranks in the top 50% of the class and who is known for, the, for their demonstration of integrity and ethics in their scholastic and personal endeavors. Uh, Ascension Smith was the founding principal of Caddo uh, Magnet High School here, so the, a preference is given to someone who attended that high school and or seminary college. Before attending med medical school, this year's recipient received her Bachelor of Science in Biology with a minor in Political Science. She participated in various research projects throughout her medical school career. She demonstrated devotion to her school through holding numerous leadership positions while still continuing to support her community through volunteer work. She will be staying with us to complete her residency in our ophthalmology program. This year's Ascension Smith Delgado Excellence Award goes to Laura Pirelli. I've been told Laura is um, on her honeymoon right now, and hopefully she's on her way back. I hope for commencement. I know we have her representative is in, is in the audience. If you want to come up and get the check, <laughs> and uh, this award is a plaque as well as a thousand dollar award. Okay, the other award is uh, the Don and Ruby Horton. Generosity of Spirit Award, which was established by the Hortons to recognize a student who exhibits leadership, generosity, and philanthropic spirit through volunteer service, in addition to actively seeking learning opportunities in excess of their requirements. Uh, Mr. Horton served um, on the LSU Health Foundation Board for many years and is now a Director Emeritus of our foundation. This year's recipient received a Bachelor of Science in Biology at LSU Baton Rouge. During her time there, she was recognized with a highest academic achievement award for her 4.065 GPA. Very nice. She has been a leader in our medical school and has participated in various mentorship positions. Despite all, all the time she devoted to the school, she still continues to support her community through volunteer work. She is matched into the emergency uh, medicine program at Baton Rouge. This year's Don and Ruby Horton Generosity of Spirit Award goes to Elizabeth Pearson. James Morris. He will, he will be presenting the J.M. Marion, M.D. Compassion and Spirit of Osler Award. Dr. Morris. Good afternoon. I'm presenting the J.M. Marion Compassion and Spirit of Osler Award. This award is intended to recognize a graduating medical student who best embodies the qualities exemplified by Dr. J. Marion. Specifically, superb personal interaction, compassion, and the overarching effort to ensure hope and dignity to patients at their most vulnerable times and their families. As Dr. Marion is also an expositor of the ideals of William Osler, the award also encapsulates those qualities exhibited by the writings of Sir William Osler. These qualities are exhibited by the following statements. 
Dr. Osler was a humanist who emphasized compassion for the individual, a doctor whose bedside skills and manner were emulated by admirers and students, and an educator whose concepts revolutionized clinical teaching. As you can see, Dr. Marion and Dr. Osler were born in the same vein of educators. Hopefully Dr. Marion is watching from home uh, for this ceremony. Before I report this recipient, I'd like to recognize our donors for this award, who are Dick and Nancy Jane Seal, who are seated in the back of the room. Will you please stand? The award consists of a monetary uh, con contribution of $1,000, but it also wants to emphasize continued education of the student. So the recipient will also receive the quotable Osler and the library of William Osler. Upon hearing of this award, the Louisiana uh, chapter of the American College of Physicians also contributed Dr. Marion's keynote address from the Louisiana uh, physicians Associates meeting for 2021, so the recording will be made available to the recipient. We have met the recipient already and learned about this person. This recipient uh, in, was identified as a mentee of Dr. Marion, has exhibited significant compassion and care, and is a member of Alpha Omega Alpha, like Dr. Marion. It's my pleasure to present the award to Elizabeth Harrison. Now call on Dr. Lewis as he will present the Ike Muslow MD Visionary Award. Dr. Turns, uh, Dr. Hart, uh, I think we all remember Dr. Muslow. Uh, he was a great diagnostician and uh, I had the pleasure of having him on the boards both as a student and a resident. And uh, he really was somebody who stress the physical exam. He might let you order a CT, but buddy, you're going to examine that patient before you get it, okay? So, uh, a, a true gentleman and a, uh, a great doctor. He was a great leader for this institution. He was uh, dean on a couple occasions, I believe, and vice chancellor back when uh, we were under uh, one campus uh, with New Orleans. Uh, this particular award was established to uh, choose somebody who's going into internal medicine is in the top third of the class and is a great diagnostician. And this year's award goes to Blake LeBlanc. Blake. <laughs> yeah, I believe there's a, a, a check for $1,000 and an award there. So congratulations, Blake. I believe Blake is going to uh, be an internist, learn internal medicine uh, in Jackson. to present the Charles G. Hargan Jr. Memorial Scholarship. Dr. Chad Hargan was a devoted father. He was a steadfast friend to many, a passionate doctor who possessed a deep Christian faith. He was also a graduate of the 1998 class of the School of Medicine. He also stayed here for his residency and ultimately did his fellowship in hematology oncology here at the Weisswater Cancer Center. And thus I get the honor of presenting this award. 
Um, he stayed in the Shreveport area uh, and uh, became an, an preeminent and renowned anthropologist. Unfortunately, tragically, Dr. Hawthorne passed away in uh, 2017, leaving behind his wife and three sons. After his passing, Chad's family, his friends, his colleagues joined together to create the Charles G. Harbin and Lee Memorial Scholarship for medical students to honor his life and his legacy. Its purpose is actually to defray the cost, uh, the travel costs for residency interviews. The scholarship is awarded to a student who exhibited high academic standing through coursework and clinical experience and had a difference uh, to those with a record of volunteerism, faith-based activities, and nonprofits in North Louisiana. The scholarship is uniquely awarded to a rising fourth year medical student. And in the audience today is last year's recipient, 2020 recipient um, of the Argonne Scholarship. And her name is Audrey Demand. Uh, I believe Audrey uh, will be joining uh, the neurosurgery residency program at the Methodist Hospital in Houston. Uh, so again, Audrey, congratulations on a job well done. And Dandy. So it's what you went. Yeah. Well, she already has her residency, correct? Neuroscience, neurosurgery? Okay, yes. That was last year's. Yes. Okay. I am also pleased to announce the 2021 Argonne Scholar, who is Erin Kirk. Volunteerism and several nonprofit organizations. Please stand here as I, I recite your wondrous achievements. Um, the nonprofit organizations, as well as your involvement with student organizations such as AHEC, uh, the Scholars Program, Go Bowl, which is spelled the way, uh, the Louisiana way, which is G E A U X, and uh, Camp Tiger, as well as the SHIP. She serves as the director of girls' um, puberty workshop and these classes at the local, local women's shelter, the Love Book Center on nutrition, diabetes, mental health, addiction, lung disease, and much more. Erin uh, is said to be an outstanding student, uh, an incredibly hard worker, passionate person, uh, and she always give, gives her best to all the donors. Congratulations. And now, Dr. Shane Martin will present the Aaron Selber Jr. Leadership Award. Dr. Martin. All right. And I'll just, once again, I'll reiterate what Dr. White and everyone has said. Congrats. I mean, you guys really are outstanding. And I think this award is something that, uh, that really, really puts into focus. I want you to hear a little bit of the background about this. This is the Aaron Silver Junior Leadership Award. I've been fortunate enough uh, in my 16, 17 years here in town to be involved in some civic organizations. And he, uh, Mr. Silver, although he died in 2019, he is uh, still brought up very frequently because of the major contributions. This award was established in appreciation of, of the many years that Mr. Silver devoted to the strengthening of our campus here at the medical school through the Chancellor's Advisory Committee recipient of this award must show evidence of strong leadership skills in the medical school and throughout the community. I just want to read something a little extra about some of the things he did. This really quick. He was an active civic leader in Shreveport. He served as the chairman of the board of Blue Cross of Louisiana, director of Commercial National Bank, president of the Shreveport Chamber of Commerce, president of the Committee of 100, president of the Academy of Merge Report Committee, president of South Coast School. President of Goodwill Industries, President of Pod and Dixon, President of the Junior Chamber of Commerce, Chairman of the Advisory Board of the Shreveport Faith Diversion Vocational Institute, and Treasurer of the Shreveport Sports Foundation. So for someone to be honored and say that you exhibit those types of leadership qualities is really neat. And it's my privilege.
much to offer uh, this year. Uh, award uh, this year to the recipient of Katie Frick. about Katie. First of all, she's going into orthopedic surgery, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, Katie is, uh, is, is amazing. She graduated from ULL with an undergraduate degree in biology. She's a member of the, as, uh, the Gold Humanism Honor Society, Alpha Mega Alpha uh, Medical Honor Society, the American Medical Women's Association, one of our uh, organizations that helps promote diversity in orthopedic surgery, which traditionally has been a very male-dominated field. The Ruth Jackson Orthopedic Society. We're very proud of our record here. Five of our 15 residents are women. And we, uh, we encourage the, uh, the excellent medical students that reach out to us. I still remember the day that Katie sat down with me nervously to ask, should she do it? And there was no doubt, absolutely, we should do this. I think it'll be very successful. She has been very successful. She will be going to the University of Alabama at Birmingham to uh, complete her residency there. We're very proud uh, that she's coming from. awards and close out our program. Uh, this award will be presented by the President of the Northwest Louisiana Medical Society, Dr. Thomas G. Lachalet, and he will be giving the Northwest Louisiana Medical Society Honor Award. In addition, he will also be giving the Patty W. Van Hook, MD, Memorial Award. Dr. Lachalet. Northwest Louisiana Medical Society Honor Award is given by the Northwest Louisiana Medical Society, which used to be called the Shreveport Medical Society, but recently the name has been changed. Our organization takes great pride each year in presenting a special honor to a graduating senior who best exemplifies the ideals of the doctor-patient relationship, which I think is making a comeback despite EHR, prior authorizations, all those other things that we have to deal with as physicians. The recipient of this award, I think is important, is nominated by their classmates and selected by a committee of clinical faculty. I'm very pleased to present this award and plaque to the 2021 recipient, Dr. Hannah G. Barkley. <laughs> tell you a little story about Hannah, not to embarrass you, <laughs> but I've known this young woman since the day she was born, because I was her pediatrician. And now look at her. Congratulations. And I must have inspired her because she's going into pediatrics. <laughs> Our second award is the Patty W. Van Hook, MD, Memorial Award. I had the privilege of knowing Dr. Van Hook, and also her daughter was in my graduating class. This award is presented each year by a memorial fund administered by the Northwest Louisiana Medical Society in recognition of Dr. Patty Van Hook, who served as the first female president of the Shreveport Medical Society and the first female president of the Louisiana State Medical Society. The award recognizes a member of the graduating class selected by a committee of the Medical Society for their support of organized medicine and their contributions to community service. And I think this award is important because as president of your local medical society, I encourage all of you to join your local medical societies because it's the glue, I think, that holds doctors together. It's my pleasure to present the 2021 Patty Van Hook Memorial. 
Memorial Award to Dr. Miriam M. Labrano. Thank you. Our final award will be presented by Dr. James Morris. He will present the 2021 Leonard Tao Humanism in Medicine Award. Thank you, Dr. Murphy. I, along with Dr. Lauren Beal, serve as the faculty advisors for the Gold Humanism Honor Society. It is my pleasure the Leonard Tao Humanism and Medicine Awards. The Leonard Tao Humanism and Medicine Awards recognize graduating students and faculty members who demonstrate both clinical excellence and outstanding compassion in the delivery of care and who show respect for patients, their families, and healthcare colleagues. The Gold Foundation launched this award in 1991 at Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons. The Healthcare Foundation in Jersey began replicating these awards nationwide in 1998 with participation from the Gold Foundation. And in 2003, thanks to a generous donation from Leonard Tao, these awards became solely sponsored and administered by the Gold Foundation. Those of you who are students will recognize the name of the Gold Foundation because it sponsors the Gold Humanism Honor Society, which is the pin that is white that on my lapel, and also the white coat ceremony for sophomore medical students which is represented by the gold pin. Tau, Tau awardees for students should be selected from members of the Gold Humanism Honor Society when possible. The criteria for the award follows the mnemonic IE CARES, which stands for integrity, excellence, collaboration, and compassion, altruism, respect, and resilience, empathy, and service. The student recipient will receive a $500 award and a certificate. This year's recipient was a facilitator group leader in the Empathy in Medicine project. The recipient also participated in the Honduras Medical Mission Trip and Operation Pathways. The recipient was noted in their essay to have bonded over food with a patient during a clinical interview assignment and returned the next day to comfort the patient, educate the patient, and subsequently reconnect the patient with a prior clinician who had cared for that patient. Again, going above and beyond just taking care of the patient. This year's recipient is Kylie Harrison. It's also my pleasure to award a faculty member the Leonard Tao Humanism and Medicine Award. This faculty recipient will receive a $500 award and certificate, and as part of the grant associated with the award, is granted membership in GHHS, or the Gold Humanism Honor Society. However, it is not needed this year because the recipient is already a member of the Gold Humanism Honor Society and was in. Uh, brought into the society on the same day that I was in 2016. The reward is based on the following. As a clinician, this recipient recognizes the role in addressing not only the patient's imminent health concerns, but the larger backdrop, backdrop of each patient's social determinant. This recipient believes in not only treating the illness itself, but focusing on the larger context within which a disease thrives. Significant time is spent listening to the narratives of the patient and their illness, and this recipient, recipient cares for truly some of the most ill and fragile patients in our health care system. It is a true measure of humanism in medicine. This recipient is a strong advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion in medicine, and reflects on their activities. 
All of these descriptions are criteria for the faculty board. In addition, this recipient was also a founding chapter advisor for our Gold Humanism Honor Society. The recipient comes from the Department of Medicine, the Division of Nephrology and Hypertension. It is my pleasure to forward this to Karina Suleiman, <laughs> Professor of Clinical Medicine. recipients another round of applause. Thank you. Tomorrow will be a great day. I will see you at nine o'clock in the morning for rehearsal at Shreveport Convention Center. Okay? And uh, you will be having a class photo taken right after rehearsal. So make your attire changes however you want to be remembered for the class photo. And then uh, I need students there at 12 noon to be lined up and graduation will start probably at 1 o'clock. This concludes the program. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs>